Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make cool social media content pictures with Camtasia 2021. So I literally stumbled upon this when I was editing a video a couple weeks ago and I was just, you know, scrubbing through the timeline as usual, putting my transitions in, and then the cursor here went on a particular part of the video and I paused for a second and I was like, whoa, that looks really cool. Like, if I had a picture of that, I could post that on social media, like as a piece of content. And so thus, this tutorial is born. This is a photo of me and my business partner, Arit. I'm the one here looking like I'm falling out of the sky. And so this effect has to do with photos and transitions. And you might be thinking, what? Here's what I mean. So if you head over to transitions, there are a bunch of transitions. I can't remember how many, but there's a lot. And so this is how I stumbled upon this. I had one of my favorite transitions here, the purple triangles, which I used to segue into different segments of the video. You probably just saw one as you're watching this tutorial. And I had the transition dragged on as usual. And I, I, uh, I stretched it out here and I'll show you what I mean. So, when you move the player head here, you can see that there's already a cool effect happening. So how I found this out was I was moving the timeline head incrementally. And I'm on a PC right now, and if you press the period and the comma key, you move frame by frame. So as you can see here, I'm already getting some cool shots. like. This is what the photo normally looks like, right? Which is a cool photo, but if you want to jazz it up, you can add a transition on it. And I'll just move it back to where it was. Let's say something like this. That looks like a cool triangle photo. Or if we keep going here, something like this. Like you get some really cool abstract visuals happening, okay? And then it's like, okay, I have a abstract visual. What happens now? You want to take a picture of it within Camtasia. So if you don't know, I did a tutorial on this. This camera button right here, when you click on that, it grabs a still shot of whatever's happening on, th on the this part here, whatever's happening for your video. It doesn't take a screenshot of the entire computer or anything like that. I'll show you what I mean. I'll click on it and then I'll move it over here so you can see it. And it's actually just the photo here. And you might be thinking like, okay, well, it's in Camtasia. You know, I need this to post on Instagram, Facebook, whatever social medias. And the cool thing is you can grab it as a JPEG. So let me show you where to grab it and then I'll show you all different kinds of examples of how cool this could look. So I've just opened up a folder here and I went to documents and I'm gonna head over to Camtasia and then if you scroll all the way down you'll see that I took a snapshot of that cool photo and I now can take this because it's a PNG basically it's basically like a better form of a JPEG uh, it's a photo file and now I can go upload this. So now I have a piece of content here that is altered. Like you can put text here and there's all different kinds of things that you can do. So now let's head back to Camtasia. So I thought this was a really neat, unique way. Like you can even go over here and have the V go down here. There's like so many different kinds of variations that you can do. And here's another thing. If I move this up, I'll move it up and then we'll go back to that. And I'm pressing the comma key to move frame by frame, right? So we've got that. And then if I go to media and I grab this picture of water here and I place it down below, check out what happens now. And I'll just stretch it out. Okay. 
this photo got really crazy. Check out the effect now that you get. And if you like it, just boom, snap it in there and then go back to your folders and then there it is right there. And you can just keep playing with variation after variation. Like, I know that Camtasia is a video editor, but you can actually use it as a photo thing as well, a photo editor. So let's try out some other transitions. This was one transition. So let's delete and let's start over and try a different transition. I also have another picture here of me and my business partner. I will say that not all of them work, not all of them are cool. So let's say action wipe. I'll drag it down and I'll move it over. They don't all completely work. I mean, look at this one. I mean, it's cool in the way that it looks, but it's only got the top half of me and then the bottom half of Reed, so that's kind of awkward. <laughs> but if you've got a different style photo, it might work. And if you place this down here, the water, you can see that it fills in the space and it, it, depending on what it is, it can look cool. So if you had two photos, like if I had a photo of grass or some other color that isn't people in it, this would probably work better, but because there's me in it and then there's just legs hanging there, it looks kind of awkward, but you can do it however you want. So this, this one doesn't work as particularly well, but that's okay because there are so many transitions to try out. So let us try some more here and play around. Let's try checkerboard. <laughs> so far it works, but my head's cut off. Yeah, kind of, yeah. And then here you can grab this and put this behind. Or you can, like, I can change this to any color. I could even go even further and grab the colorize. Let's go to visual effects, go to colorize and change the color of it to like a purple, even like a, and it made it more deeper in color actually, because this is original. And then if I add black, it, it looked like this, which kind of looks really crazy. So there's that, like there's so many things you can do. Let's try this here, the rings. Ooh, kind of cool. Not completely because it's cutting off our faces, but if we weren't, like, we can probably move this and make it so that our faces are not. So kind of like that. Add this in again. You know, play around. There's like a million different things you can do. So that could be cool. All right, so I dragged this one down, which is the glitch effect. And if you go right to the end, almost to the end of the glitch, you can get like, if you want to do like a glitch effect. And again, if, what, if you like any of these, just click the camera button here and it goes to your folder. Easy as that, and then move on to the next one. So you can literally make many different variations very quickly. This one's kind of funny. I did glitch effect two, and it looks like we're like a piece of paper that's getting all waved up. Ooh, here's a cool one. Imploding hexagons. This looks like a very cool effect. So you can see we're being like stretched apart here. And again, you can add something behind as well if you wanted to, or leave it like this, or change this to a different color. The ideas are literally endless, and when I stumbled upon this, I thought it was so cool, and I wanted to share it with you all. If you guys like these kinds of videos, I have a 9 plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can check out down in the description below. It's very inexpensive, and it will fast track your Camtasia learning. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video.